All right, fellas, now that the bike is on the lift, time to go through all the damages. This was a right side collision. Uh, most of the damage occurred on the right side of the bike. So, so we're going we're gonna to move to the front, start with here and move back. So as you can see, obviously, the front tire is a lot of dirt and such. This front tire and wheel and suspension area really took a lot of the force um, in terms of impact. And you could see that through some of this um, dirt on the, the tires. And I want to be clear, I haven't cleaned it, changed anything, touched it since the day of the crash. So this is all like as it was and as it is from the crash. So luckily, not anything apparent in terms of bent front wheel. It seems real, real straight. Obviously, I'll put it on the true stand and make sure it's all good. Um, however, moving back, it seems like the forks are in good shape. I got to rebuild them, of course, and make sure everything is in good shape. If not, we'll address it and fix anything that needs to be fixed. The brakes and rotors also by the eyeball seem okay. However, upon investigation, once I start taking everything apart, we will actually determine if they are still good or not. Headlight got damaged. The headlight ear got damaged. The whole front master cylinder lever, uh, reservoir, and some of the brake lines are pretty much completely shot. That's fairly easy to rebuild, replace with a new lever, get a new reservoir, you know, not a huge deal. The triple tree is in perfect shape. Um, I'm, I was super surprised by that. Actually, the day before the crash is when I installed the triple tree. And as I was out, you know, test riding, research and design, feeling it, seeing how the stability is, everything was great. Then, of course, it wasn't. <laughs> so luckily, the triple tree is in good, good shape, so we can re repurpose that. We're going to take it all apart and confirm that the stem is straight. Everything on the internal tubes are all good and the bearings are okay. It all feels fine. The shocks actuate, so it doesn't seem like anything's crazily bent, but we will be rebuilding everything. Moving back, the throttle tube assembly seems okay. The grips got shaken up a bit, as you can see over here. And then the front right blinker, that's replaceable. What took most of the damage is the tank, unfortunately. As you can see, really gnarly. So what happened was the bike went down on its right side. The handlebar obviously took most of the force here, as did the rear peg, the right rear peg. However, this, as it went down, this kinked in. As you can see, it's pretty close here. It kinked in. I, I've pulled it out just a little bit since, but it kinked in fully, obviously this area damaged the inside there. And then this uh, really, you can see the handlebar. This is like where it slashed. There's no holes in it. We're going to try to repair it. If not, we're going to get a new tank. Carbs popped off somehow, but those, we'll just pop those back on. Valve cover paint got a little destroyed here. The points cover shot completely gone. The belly pan also took most of the force. As you can see, it's, it's cracked here. It's cracked on the other side. I'll show you. But in terms of where damage was the worst, tank, belly pan, uh, brake master cylinder assembly, rear pegs, and then the rear rim. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but again, most of this was a right side damage. Points cover, that's replaceable. Just screw in, screw out. Uh, screw out, screw in, super easy. Carbs, I'm gonna pop those off, inspect them, make sure all the needles are in the good spot, the floats are properly level, and then pop them back on. The pegs, these will be replaced regardless with hint, hint, mile zero. Uh, branded parts and then uh, the exhaust luckily has not incurred any massive damages of course there's some scrapes some small dents that we will hopefully try to pop out and clean up but that is what it is and so be it rear set bracket has become bent at that point since all the um, weight of the bike was put on this peg which kind of act like uh, frame support uh, if you will, or crash bar support, whatever you want to call it. And so it's kind of bent a little bit of everything here. Master cylinder looks okay. Um, I can replace it if I need to, not the end of the world. And as we move back here, you can see that the that's very replaceable. Now the cowl, I don't physically have it in my possession. It is being refinish, refinished as we speak. However, I'll pop up right here the condition of what it looks like. So as we move toward the rear wheel conversation, we have the tank that took the worst of it. We have the belly pan that took the worst of it, the blinker, the master cylinder, the cowl, the foot peg and shifter lever and bracket, the points cover, car carbs need to be popped on, valve cover. And as I walk around here, tell me if you notice anything. Look at that. 
Ask me how that happened, no idea, because the collision happened on a right turn and the bike went down like that. How it happened on the rear left, no idea. However it happened, and it is what it is, and we will be replacing these wheels regardless with, hint, hint, Miles Eraser branded wheels. That will come soon as I start rebuilding this. You're gonna start seeing a lot of the implementation of the Miles Zero parts as this originally was going to be the, the prototype bike, if you will, uh, testing, researching, and designing fitment, everything for the parts that will be going on the Club Sport V2. As you can see, I kind of just flashed a little hint of what those look like. You have triple trees, uh, version one, two, and then version three is not um, in our vicinity here right at the moment. However, rear rim shot, so it is what it is. Obviously replaceable, but I will not be replacing it with these wheels. The belly pan, you can see right there, cracked. Not a big deal, I'll make another one. And that is pretty much the extent of everything. As you can see, that's the triple tree versions for the Motoscope Mini. This is the triple tree for the Motoscope Pro. We'll have them in two color options, anodized silver and anodized black. So guys, that's gonna wrap up this episode. Um, that is a walkthrough of a little bit of what happened. Just a, a really freak thing, uh, low speed and just something that came out of nowhere. I mean, there was a right turn that was so sharp and so unclear that it was there. Um, when you ride roads you haven't ridden ever, just be extra cautious, be extra careful um, because things like this can happen. And thank God nothing worse happened. There was no other cars involved, thankfully. Um, and it was a low speed, low impact scenario. Therefore, I'm okay. That's, that's the number one more, most important thing. And thanks to my Pandomoto gear for keeping my skin and certain parts of my body safe. Um, and my ankle really took the, the most of the, the damages. And then obviously the bike damages, you know, it is what it is. I really stress to you guys and talk to you guys. I've said this so many times, like I build bikes to ride and I do not build bikes to be garage queens. Um, I build bikes to be enjoyed. And this was my first bike I ever really, really built and put my heart and soul in. And it's had, it's went through literally everything. I've, this bike, I've ridden it to death. I've put it through stressful scenarios. I've had stupid little um, damages happen here and there. I obviously now crashed it a little bit. And you know, this bike will forever be with me and forever be evolving um, as a original mile zero build, which is the club sport. And I think it's gonna start something really spectacular. We've utilized this opportunity of building club sport V2 to really engineer and develop bespoke parts to encapsulate and drive home, actually just stamp in the record books and history books that um, uh, the style of the club sport CB750, and it's gonna officially be replicable uh, soon here in the coming months through the purchase of things like the triple tree, um, and you know, a list goes on below that that I'm not gonna get into too many details of. If, if you're interested, go to the playlist on my YouTube channel uh, talking about the Club Sport V2 build, and you might learn more there. However, um, just wanna say guys, be safe on the roads. It's a dangerous place out there, and I am super thankful that you know, only this stuff happened, and um, the, bike, the bike is just a toy. And you know, I look at things that get broken and damaged is just part of the journey, man. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely a scary thing to ride. However, there's a lot of other scary things to do in the world and get into. And you know, motorcycles are just a, a huge part of my life and they always will be. And honestly, it's just, I've accepted the, the fact that things can happen and it, it is what it is really. But I will just say, be extra cautious, be extra safe um, and, and pay extra attention to your surroundings and, and what's going on. Things like this happen. At the end of the day, it's a toy. I'm not gonna dwell over the fact that it's crashed and inoperable at the moment. I'll fix it, we'll move on. I'll get better and get smarter, and we just keep building. That's what it's all about, guys. Miles Zero Racers, we, no matter expert or beginner, we start at the first mile, and you go through it. We're, we're here together to figure out and move forward. It's all about moving forward, never stopping, and, and persevering through the hardest times. And that's really the message behind the brand. That's the message behind why I document everything. It's not only because I just love documenting my passions through that process. Obviously, we get to meet fantastic people and I've met some of the best friends I've ever made through this hobby. And um, outside of that, it's just, I'm here to motivate and through the process of visual documentation, inspire 
and uh, I don't just talk about it, I actually do it. And I hope that really shows through the camera lens. And I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everyone so far being part of this journey, helping me continue to grow. And if you really wanna support me, because honestly, I'm gonna need some help rebuilding this thing as of course I'm enduring a huge build with the Club Sport V2 and I'm, I'm struggling a little bit to get through the V2 and this is really putting me in a hole in terms of getting progress done on the V2. So if you guys wouldn't mind helping me out, check out the merch in the link in my description or consider getting a Cardo's comm unit. That link will be in the, the description below. If anyone has any questions on Cardo, please let me know. Um, and if you really consider, if you've been on the fence about motorcycle riding gear, check out the link in my description for 20% off all your goods on Pandomoto's website. I'm telling you, you will not go wrong with anything on that site. And uh, please feel free to ask me any questions uh, because I know a lot about this stuff. At least I think I know a lot about this stuff. So don't hesitate to reach out. That's why I'm here to be a resource that I didn't have when I was starting this journey of building this bike. And I hope that comes through the, the camera lens and is apparent through my efforts in the DMs and comments and everything else in between. It takes a lot of time and takes a lot of effort and thought to actually go through and do all this stuff, not for you guys, but you know, in, in essence, kind of for you guys. So I re really appreciate any support. And as always, guys, we're one team, one family, and thank you for being the dopest crew on the planet. The unfortunate has happened, but it is what it is, and we're going to bounce back better than ever. Follow along to either see how this club sport gets re this club sport bike gets rebuilt better than it originally was, and also follow along for other stuff like restoring CB750s, building custom motorcycles, and especially the version 2. Point o of the club sport which is being built on the channel as we speak go check out that playlist right here and uh man i'm gonna leave you guys with a i love you and b be safe out there guys cheers